Alright guys, so today has been a heck of a day. So, I got fired today. They let me go. And I worked a whole four hours and a half <laughs> of a ship and then they tell me, oh, you're terminated. So that sucks. I've cried my whole hour on the way home. Um, they basically told me that um, I things don't stick well with me and then how I don't do well at test taking. Which honestly, I don't think you should have got fired for test taking because- Not at serving. Not at serving because I think people like me who aren't good at test taking go to those jobs because it's just, you know, they're in school or they, that because they don't have a degree. Like I'm not trying to sound mean, but they don't, I don't have a degree. And so, I mean, I have my bartending license, but for me to bartend, I have to start serving. And I just don't think that's fair for you to get fired over somebody who doesn't do good at test taking like I just don't agree with that and for the fact that things don't stick well with me and they're half the time I'm doing side work by myself I'm the always the one in there doing side work I mean I'm sorry if things they have to comp or avoid things that I could be having a bad day that day and it's just how it happens and the same with the reviews they said that I got some more reviews could have had a bad day that reviewer who came in there could have had a bad day and just left a bad review because they were just having a rough rough day so they just wanted to take it out on somebody yeah but how many times have you had a good review and they praise you for it i don't know no right. they never told me hey good job michaela you got a good review right nobody's came in there and told me so i just don't think it's fair the three things that they told me today i should have been fired for no i don't think that's right or that's like and i'm like really honestly upset about that because it's just not fair like i work hard i'm usually always someone in there half the time doing side work doing busy work because I I don't want our team and our morning team to get in trouble because the night team came in there and told us, hey, none of the morning team did side work. So I'm always doing side work. So I just, I don't know. I just feel a little bit discouraged that, I don't know, they don't think I'm good enough for that job when perfectly I, moms came in there when I worked at Bad Daddy's, mama came in there and saw that I could host, serve, and plate food all at once because that's all we had it was just us so I was having to do all three things and that's how it's been at work people come in all the time are you all the are you the only one on the floor I'm like no they're like well you're the only one we see and you're rocking it good job every time right so where are those reviews at where's the praise at if they're giving you the negativity like I don't understand today's job society like guys I got I do have a degree and I am a former nurse and so I don't understand the if you get it right they're not praising but the only thing you do is put somebody negatively down I don't understand that but I don't understand your mentality or any of you other young people out there that think you're not good enough because somebody decided you was not right oh my phone's ringing right for their team so guys do not think like that Michaela do not think like that because I mean, I think you should have been gone from there a long time It ago. is a little discouraging, not going to lie, because I think I am really good at what I do. She rocks it. And I know y'all are going to say because it it's hard because I'm mom. But I've seen her in action, and guys, I'm telling you, I couldn't serve. I, I, pro I mean, I, maybe I could, but that's just not my career fair. She is, like, just running from table to table, got it, so kind, so polite, and I'm always like, dang. Um, if I watch her and I'm like, she's got this. So, so it is a little discouraging okay. that other people don't see that. And, oh, other people can see that. But I only get punished for the bad parts. Not, I don't get good job, Michaela, for all the good parts. That they couldn't see how well I was doing when when I was doing good or No, whatever. you have to understand, there's a thing that's called man hours. And they'll cut those man hours and they will do whatever. There's people in management positions that make bonuses off cutting your hours, Michaela. There's people in managed positions that make bonuses for firing you and got their man hours under. Please don't take that so personally. Like, oh well, like, go get another job. I know, it's just weird because literally this morning, for the past three days, something has came to me. Hey, apply for a nighttime job. Three days ago, I've been thinking about this for three days straight. This morning, I did finally apply we to a job. For this a morning. job. And then for them today, later when I got off at four thirty, for them to fire me. Right. I just it was it's so weird to me, and I know God's speaking to me to tell me, hey, it was time for you to leave. But at I've the same time, it was just out. such a weird timing because.
for three days straight I've been thinking about hey I should apply and I know where I want to apply to and then for that to happen today I just think it's honestly so so weird I think it's kind of cool I think it gets to see how God works in your life like this is so so God was looking out after me because I mean I put almost 20,000 miles on my car right and I guys, feel she like was driving that. like an hour an hour and 15 to work and they weren't even giving her 40 hours they were giving like 20 and 28 hours yeah and then Please. i would fill up my gas probably monday and thursdays every day to go to work so i was like filling my car up two days a week and then already put twenty thousand miles on my car already from the first time i got like i think i got my car at 147 okay probably ten thousand miles i think my car is like 154 right. so about ten thousand miles on my car it just driving back go. and forth to work. it's time to go I tell you that even as a nurse I would tell you when it's time to walk away and that was like my career my whatever it's time to walk away like I know but I'm a person that does not like change I know if you, you don't. know me I am so not a person push to change should not like I'm like yeah I'm just gonna stay here for as long as I can she would stay in a bad situation for life just not to have the change no and I am no. I am that person and I just can't stand it and like I don't even want to even go through the job interview process again Okay. I hate that. I, I like physically hate that. And then all the training, you don't even get paid for training. You get paid $2 if you're a server for training. That's not even a paycheck. And I don't know. It's just, it's a lot. But it's okay. It's okay. But I got time off. So now the, ne <laughs> the next week or so, I'm going to be spending my time off applying for jobs because. Tell her to take you with her. Like you should do that. You should start a series of going to find a job with me. And tomorrow applying for unemployment, possibly. This should be your series on TikTok. I don't know. I was debating if I wanted to post this and make this big do, but I'm really angry and peed off right now. So I'm like, I feel like it's honestly feel like you shouldn't get punished for wanting to rant or to cope with something. And I think that's how like it is. Freedom of speech is no longer a thing anymore. And I Never just think was. it's not <laughs> fair that someone like me who's having a bad day and comes on here to talk and get advice can't do that because you're worried about getting sued or you're worried about this or that. And I just don't think it's honestly fair. Honestly. It's called defamation of character, and you did not use their name, and you did not have their shirt on. None of that applies. Sorry. So that's why. So I decided to change my mind because I feel a lot better now, <laughs> ranting about this. And I was coming on here to make this TikTok to rant because I am so mad. I've right never now. made a seven-minute TikTok, and here we are. <laughs> I am so so mad. But it's okay. it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm okay. And I brought her a bunt cake, and she told me, no, guys. I went and grabbed her a bunt cake. I want the, oh, I wanted the Mountain Dew. And her fork. And she was like, no, Mom. She was I like, can't. Like, if you guys, if you guys get getting, upset, oh, no. you can't even eat. And that's me right now. I don't even want to even think about food. I'm going to go home, probably shower first. Unwind a minute. Then maybe in the mood for spaghetti or my better, chicken Alfredo from You Olive better Garden. eat the spaghetti I made. Well, I have Olive Garden in the fridge. So I was going to eat that so I will not waste the Olive Garden. That's fine. And then too. have the spaghetti tomorrow since I will have that probably lunch and dinner since I'm not going anywhere. she's off all day. So, <laughs> so yeah, tomorrow. Tell her guys in the comment section to make it a series and take you guys along with her. And if anybody else is going through this, you'll kind of do Yeah, please give me advice if this has ever happened to you because well, maybe you're giving right now advice. I'm so upset and like, I don't know, I just feel a little discouraged. But anyway, it's just... If you guys have felt the same way, have done the same thing, just comment and maybe probably make my day feel a lot better. And if you're a brand deal out there, she needs a lot of them, so hit her up. <laughs> <laughs> she gonna need some. No, I'm joking. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. I know, but thanks guys for listening to my rant. This was much needed, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for a more uplifting video.